Now, there we go. Send the atmosphere. Now, think terminal velocity. We all know if you start falling through the atmosphere, it gets to the point where you can't accelerate any faster because the drag is equal to well, the force that's making you accelerate downwards, so you don't speed up anymore. And in space, with no air or anything to stop you, that that that, that doesn't exist. There's none of that nonsense. You just keep accelerating, and accelerating, and accelerating until you go well, Einstein and start talking about the speed of light. Now it's you know it's a maximum speed and going everything, but it's, it's not going to happen. Okay, so as far as we're concerned, you're in space and you carry on accelerating, right? So the opposite happens when you've come from space into the atmosphere. It's not like you're falling out of a plane and you accelerate, so you can't accelerate anymore. The total opposite's going to happen. We're going to go in so fast. Look at what it's like two, over two kilometers a second, over two and a half kilometers a second. We're going in so fast that the atmosphere is like, whoa, this is well over the terminal velocity, well over. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be slowing you down. Now, as everyone who watches, you know, things deorbiting, coming back to Earth, there's normally a huge fireball, or, you know, if a meteoroid or meteorite or a huge chunk of rock, or whatever you want to call it, hits the atmosphere. It's a huge fireball, and um, that's, essentially, that's essentially that energy that's trying to stop, slow you down, back down to terminal velocity. Here we go, it's starting now. Now, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not... I'm not the best of physicists or chemists in the world, but I've, 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 this isn't this isn't cause of friction. This isn't like heat from stuff rushing past it. This is you're coming in so fast, you're squishing the the, the air or gas or whatever it is you, what planet you're coming into in front of you, and that causes some sort of pressure heat wave thingy. Now, you know if you study this at school, don't have that as your answer in the test, for God's sake. But it, it, I think it's it's something like that. Okay. There we go, something like that. Now, now I'm starting to think about the parachute. Now, in real life, I don't want to be the parachute going off while I'm still going at this speed. It's just going to get torn asunder, I assume, and horrible things can happen. Being a couple space program, I haven't got the, the uh, I think it's one of those mods or where um, actually it's affected, so it'll, it'll stay put. But I'm going to pretend it wouldn't because I don't think it would. So here we go. We're going to wait till we slow down, and then we're going to deploy the parachute which will slow us down even further and then it will get to an altitude where it opens up and then we will slow down even further to the point where if we hit something it's not going to really matter so uh, there's no fiery stuff so let's do this I think that's what's called a, a drogue parachute or something it's like, it's like a smaller one comes out before it opens up to the main one because it's you know, something to do if it keeps it, all, it keeps it all stable and it, stop, it stops it from it less likely for it to collapse because I don't know Exactly. Well, I do know exactly, but I just can't. My brain's not making my mouth say what it does. So, just all you need to know is a small parachute comes out, and then a large one comes out because it, it lowers the likelihood of it collapsing, and then you just tumble in and fall in on the parachute being useless. So, because again, we're in the atmosphere now. We're not that we're not in the vacuum, and this is like cupping, cupping the air. You know. Flap your arms around now, and you can feel the the thing it does. Okay, <laughs> pushes air, it causes a lot of drag. Thus, I guess it, that still is like a terminal velocity, isn't it? Because of that and all that extra drag, it's, it's making your terminal velocity even lower. So I'm sure there's still a, I'm sure there's still the same thing going on, isn't it? It's just you're no longer this heavy thing with a small surface, or the same heavy thing with a larger surface area. But, so yeah. splashdown we're gonna do. There we are, this is it's open fully now. Now it looks like we've got a constant seven point nine meters seconds. So that sounds oh it is slowing down, but that sounds quite fast to me. Dunno. Probably can't be much worse than jumping off a house. Which I've done before and it's not that it's not as bad as it sounds. So And, uh, do you know what? Uh, yeah, it's all very well and good. It's all going to be fine. There we go. Smash. There you go. Go for a swim. 
the sounds of it, Mrs. Noise Pollution's here, so I'll bid you adieu. Goodbye, everyone.